Hey, and welcome to part 19 of this Etrian Odyssey Nexus. Uh, let's play. <laughs> so now that I've got that out of the way, uh, let's move on to the... What is it? Fifth floor? Yeah, fifth floor of Southern Shrine. Um, well, actually, no. <laughs> let's get the quest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only one quest, huh? I mean, I'm not, it's not bad. Um, that request, let me see about that one. Hmm, ah, yes. That one. <laughs> Our client wants to make himself a new prosthetic hand. Mm. He needs a specific material to make it, so he wants an adventurer to go find it for him. <laughs> if I were making a prosthetic hand, I'd secretly add in a hidden weapon. <laughs> what ma what man wouldn't want a hand that can double as a switchblade? He's not. He's not wrong. <laughs> he wants you to bring him a beast thorn. You can get them from a rebel wolf in the southern shrine. Karine. Be careful, I hear the monsters in that labyrinth are quite strong. I think that's an FOE. Huh? Um, I think, I know a lot of times quests, they uh, make you go fight an FOE, like, like the last floor or something like that. Um, so that's, what, that's my guess. But anyway, yeah, let's go. Let's get, let's get this started. Alright. Fifth floor. Cool, cool. So, I totally expect to do the boss next video. Bosses and the FOEs. So, I guess we won't complete that quest yet. Or, you know what? No, no, no. Yeah, no. Let's not. <laughs> let's just do the floor this, this video. Travel through the floor and then we'll deal with the FOE and bosses next. Wrath Bloom. He, so he's a big enemy. He's a big boy. So it <laughs> probably means he's gonna be a pain in the ass. Um, hmm. I don't remember what they do. I think they do AoE. AoE hits also. Like they hit the whole team. Um, they're not gonna be fun. So let's see. Well, they're asleep, so that's, that's good. But okay, yeah, he... Is he just... He's pretty durable so far. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to fight. Um, it's a soul drive. Yeah. Screw it. So, a soul drive. Jeez, still not flinching. Devour ally. Okay. <laughs> so he'll hit the enemy he's with and then up his attack and heal his HP by a shit ton. Ugh. Why? You gotta do this. I still don't know what he's weak to, but I, I gotta try to... I don't like that he's got a lot of HP, so... Um, he's got a, He upped his attack and a lot of HP. So, uh, let's try to blind him. Yeah. There we go. Huh. So his individual attacks don't seem very strong. But no, he's gotta have a move. He's gotta have something that is just really damaging. Hmm. I do wonder what he's weak to, though. For sure, fire, maybe slash damage? Headbind is good against him. It stopped him from doing something. Probably devour. It's okay. Yeah, these guys, I can tell they're gonna be really, really annoying. 
super high. <laughs> I love the sound of that attack. Ren's attack trip edge. It has it sounded really nice. Just like a big like a heavy heavy slash explosion sort of <laughs> sort of move. <laughs> So yeah, someone told me this guy does AoE instant death. Very fun. Very fun. Oh my god, my TP is really low. For one fight, I used up a lot. A TP. Jesus. Stay too fast. Uh, another adventurer may be cooking some close by, so like food, I guess. Do you consider whether or not you should check or you should look for the source of the smell? Let's look around. You scan the area for the source of the delicious smelling fish, but you don't see anyone around. However, if you really listen for it, you can faintly hear the crackling of an open fire. Following both the sound and the smell, you eventually locate a campfire. There's no one sitting around it, but you can see several speared fish roasting above the flame. At this rate, the fish will get burnt. That would be a terrible waste of food. You decide to eat them. Though overcooked and a little dry, they're still perfectly edible. Eating the fish sati uh, satiates your hunger and restores some energy. Good. <laughs> uh, feeling refreshed from the unexpected meal, you happily return to your exploration. Huh. So that someone was just like cooking fish and like left the camp. Wait, are we the assholes in the story? Okay, this guy, what is he? Panic, sleep, curse. Oh, pierce doesn't do a lot of damage. Hmm. Let's try another assault. I'm gonna use a soul drive because he's weak to sleep. So I'm gonna throw daggers. <laughs> Nimbo daggers, which apparently make you fall asleep. Yeah. Yikes. I did a lot of damage, but. Oh! What the hell was that? Oh my god. Unload. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use force breaks for these guys. It's not good. Not good, man. I'm sure Unload probably uses his head. <laughs> God. God damn. I like that no one died, but. Ugh. I gotta take him seriously. Hmm. So bloodlust for Highlander is really good. Whenever you lose HP, you have a chance of doing like a normal attack. At level ten, it's fifty percent. And uh, you know, you might you might be thinking like, so what? Like my Highlander gets hit, they have a chance of using an extra attack. Well, if he says, it says each time you lose HP, if you read it, right? Each time you lose HP. So that means if you use your bloody offense buff, it makes it so that your attack gets goes up really high, and every time you do an action, you lose HP. So that, that works really well with Bloodlust right here. So Bloodlust is good, but you got to put a lot of points into it to make it useful. I like it. It's a good move. Man, I really don't want to fight any more flowers. Had enough. Enough of them. Oh my god, this is the right way, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Hmm. So if he if he buffs his attack, 
this Devour Ally and then use this Unload, I'm pretty sure it's game over for me. So it's really important to avoid that. Um, Finned Slug. It looks, uh, kind of not... <laughs> it looks kind of not safe for work, actually. That Slug. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's, uh, what these guys going to do? Just blind them. Yeah. Let's try cat drops. I don't really need a tank just yet. Oh. Curse. So he curses your team. I wonder if he's weak to everything. I know a lot of enemies are just kind of like, they're like, I'm weak to everything, no matter what you do, you're gonna do a lot of damage to me, oh no. But then they curse you, so that uh, you end up killing the monster, but you kill yourself too because of the curse. Uh, oh yeah, so curse, it makes it so that you receive, if you deal damage, you, some of that damage is dealt back to you. It's, um pretty shitty, like, when you use it on the enemy, because, like, they barely take any damage back. But if it's on you, then most of the time any attack you do, it's, like, death. It's death for you. Maybe not if you're in the back line in the war, I guess. But it's enough to where you don't want to deal any damage. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Making your way through the ruins, you begin to sense a terrifying presence looming on the other side of the wall before you. It's our boss. It's boss time. It's likely you'll be able to see the source of this unsettling feeling if you climb on top of it. We'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, let's check this out first. Check this place out. As you pull yourself on top of the wall, you're met with a horrifying sight of a gigant gigantic, abominable monster. Well, I can't see him. Oh. It's like a kaiju. The thing is. Is it like a city on his back? Or just spikes? No, I I'm gonna imagine it's like a city instead. Screw it. They're not spikes, it's like a tiny little city. Uh, the, the demonic appearance of its hulking body and hideous bumpy shell are truly frightening. Could this be the ruler of the labyrinth? No, 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 he's not the ruler. He's not the boss, he's just the pass. He's like a, he's just a traveler. That's all. You decide to remain cautious as you proceed through the labyrinth. So I have to fight that thing? It's like massive. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, actually. I like his design. I can't wait can't wait to fight him. Let's see. Fin slug. Weak to arm bind. But and all elements. I remember these ropers though, they're assholes. They like bind your arms and all that bullshit. All of these bastards. Okay. Damn. Damn. I forgot. <laughs> okay. So sleep didn't work out so well. Only one person was on bound. No, that's good. It's not bad. Uh, let's try sleep again. See how that goes. Okay. 
My guess is this guy by himself isn't... He's not a lot of... He's not... He's not an issue when he's by himself. But with other enemies, he's... He's probably an asshole. Jesus, never mind. <laughs> that does a lot of damage. Why are there a lot of enemies that do a lot of damage? Why are you doing this to me? Alright, alright. Level up. Pierced whirl. Alright. Uh, let's heal my team. Actually. Thank you. Thank oh. you. Guy is so badass. Oh god. That's really creepy, actually. Like, he's really cool looking, but he's gonna chase me, isn't he? God. As you begin moving, the abhorrent creature seems to take notice of you. It takes a massive step forward. Contrary to its brutish appearance, it may have some keen perception. You should avoid getting too close when moving atop the walls. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's gonna hit me, isn't he? Oh my god! I mean, look at this guy! Oh my god, sorry he keeps moving. It's just so cool. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Yeah, he would have totally hit me if I went this way. What's this? While exploring the ruins, you come to a somewhat open area. A dead end surrounded by walls. Sensing no danger nearby, you put down your belongings and take a little break. At this time, another guild resting there calls out to you. Konnichiwa. They introduce themselves as the Blades Guild. It seems they're uh, about to begin their journey, their return journey to Meginia. A member of the Blades Guild named Kincaid approaches you. They hand you an item and tell you teamwork is essential in a place like this. I mean, no shit. You look down to find you've been given a medicine bottle. Hamao, I love that item. Love it. Thank your fellow adventurers for a gift, uh, for the gift then. After a short rest, resume your exploration. Hmm. Alright, I mean, I'll take the free EXP. Yes. I'll take it. So my guess is this floor is going to take up the whole map. It's going to be one of those long maps. So I should really try to like serve my TP.
treasure chest. Door key. The object appears to be a key. If you come across a sealed door, you may be able to open it with this. Oh my god, there he is. Oh, so that's how you open... You get the key to open the sealed doors very early in this game. Jesus. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh my god, these bastards. Okay, sleep. Sleep is good for him, on, on him, so I'm, my guess is he... I'm gonna use daggers. And he's probably gonna fall asleep. So we're just gonna ignore him for now and focus on the Tanuki. Yeah. Okay. Should be a pushover now. God. <laughs> Ignored my mirage. Just went straight, just straight, just straight for the imperial. It's fine. It's okay. Let's see how this goes. Twenty-nine damage. Yeah, he's almost dead. I can't underestimate him though. <laughs> I'm still scared of from that time he just hit everyone for a shit ton of damage. It's not good. Not good. Unload. <laughs> um. I guess they're not so bad now. Uh, flower guys. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how they. Because if you pair them up with like a war bison or some bullshit like that, I'm. I'm it's gonna be bad. There will. There will be blood. How do I solve this puzzle? Have an idea, but ah, yeah. Oh, no, never mind. Hmm. I think I was on the right. Oh, I didn't notice this. There we go. There we go. Damn, dog guys. I really hate Armbind. I hate it. It's the worst. I really wish I had an Armbind also. Flames. 
shot. Yeah, it's still going strong. This guy. Well, I mean, yeah, he's not. He resists all physical attacks. Like, how lame. How lame. Monsters, man, these monsters hit pretty hard. Um, okay, so making your way through the com complex ruins, you eventually reach an open rectangular hall. You then spot a pair of adventurers resting at a campfire in the, in the corner. If you're curious, you can say hello, or you can ignore them and keep going. I feel like it might be a trap. No, like, it, it gives me a choice, the game. So it makes me think, like, is this a trap? This is how I die. Oh, Tripper's Guild. How's exploring coming along? It's Karis. She stuffs her mouth with a freshly cooked sweet potato. It takes a lot of energy to explore a place like this. Munch, munch. <laughs> you should eat when you can. Karis finishes her sweet potato and reaches for another. <clears throat> Seriously, Karis? How many of those are you gonna have? Eat too many, and you'll stink up the whole labyrinth. Oh. Hey, that's mean. You shouldn't say that kind of stuff to a girl. Pulling out the girl card, huh? Despite her objection, Kara shows no sign of stopping. Rob shrugs in response. These ruins are both expansive and complex. You're more than welcome to join us if you need a moment to rest. Rob digs a few more well-cooked sweet potatoes out of his bag and offers them to you. If you feel the need, you can take a break and have a little something to eat. Now let's do it. Yeah. He changed awfully fast from saying he wants us to die and then offering us sweet potatoes. This guy right here. I still don't like him. <laughs> he looks cool, but he's an asshole. Uh, anyway, you take Rob up on his offer and sit down. You break the sweet potato in half and dig in. It's warm and sweet. A full restore. After savoring every last delicious bite, you get to your feet and express your gratitude. Rob and Karis tell you they'll be resting here a little while longer. With your hunger satisfied, you continue with your exploration. It's funny, it didn't give me any uh, EXP for that. This is a bad, <laughs> this is a really bad encounter. Oh my god. These are like, this is fucking terrible. So. Mm. Let's go for the war bison. Let's fuck him up. Don't like, don't want your kind around here. Okay. And 
So there is a sleep in the back row. It's the best I got though. Or you know, I should have blinded. Now that I think about it. God, that barely- I use spear assist! Shit, I meant to use head pierce. Fuck. I mean, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Kinda. <laughs> uh, hmm. Make to fire. That's sleep. Don't like it. Death by status elements. That's what this is gonna be. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing to me. Uh... Try Caltrops. <laughs> God damn. This is looking, uh. It's looking bad. <laughs> well, not that bad. I had this under control. Yeah, totally. Uh, especially since these guys don't really do any damage anymore. They just, like, put you to sleep and do a little physical attack. They're, they're harmless. Really. I hope. Right. I, I did it without force breaks. Um, or I did. A, I used to force boost, but I, I guess I didn't really need to my, on my imperial. And this is looking rough. <laughs> I don't want to get a game over like this far in. Um, and I bring it up because, like, by now, if I was playing by myself. Thank you. Um, if I ran into an encounter in, a, in a, an encounter like that, I would have already like noped out of here and used a used a thread, saved my game, stocked up on materials, upgraded my armor, uh, all that safe stuff. I'm not gonna do that. We're better than that. We uh, we beat dungeons, uh, dungeon floors one through a uh, one go. We don't need rest. Not at all. Alright. Is that all of them? Yeah, it is. I assume he's the boss. He's gonna try to hit me now, isn't he? Yeah, I guess. Too slow. Okay. Alright. Oh, birds. It's like every FOE, huh? They gave me a puzzle. Okay, yeah, let's see if I can map. 
up some of that. Resist. I think it makes you immune, actually. Is that what it looked like? Oh, no. Okay, weak to sleep. We're gonna do that. Kind of. I kind of regret not getting elemental drives now. Just a little. Oh, Spear Assist. That's right, I can use it with Laia because she has a fire attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used it on purpose that time. <laughs> to totally, man. Totally. I'm actually like a little scared. <laughs> He's gonna gonna wreck me. Alright. I'm glad he's weak to sleep. Yeah. Kind of a baby if uh if you can land that sleep. Oh, there's another bird? On the bottom screen, look at that, there's... Okay, he goes the other way. Never mind. Ugh. Alright. Very weird. items. That's a shame. I've really been here for a while, huh? Maybe I'm holding too many recovery items. Uh... I, I'm really banking on sleep landing because I'm going to soul drive. And if that, if that doesn't, if he doesn't land a soul drive, I'm, or if they're not asleep, I'm
could have been bad. You know, I guess uh, sleep is just really good. <laughs> oh my god. Um, just start throwing away shit. So far, this isn't as bad as I thought, this room. Because, uh, cause I swear, I'm, I'm the worst at this sort of shit. Like, these FOEs, they'll never deviate on their set path. But, you know, I'll find a way to walk into them. Or, like, trap myself. Sure. Not a good move. Well, maybe. <laughs> no. Okay, this guy. Okay. Still don't. I don't like the Tanukis. I mean, they're cute, but. Got like half his HP. Down. No, no, he's almost dead, but he's gonna try to change to an FOE. <laughs> Did I just? Oh, I forgot to deposit these ther theriakas. I'm an idiot. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that! Shit. Okay, uh, let's just run away. Yeah. Maximum HP down. It's not good. I'm glad he doesn't do, like, massive AoE damage right off the bat. He just did, like, a physical attack, huh? Uh, and lowered my HP. I totally 
total HP. Thank you. Oh, killing Thank my TP, you. man. I should start using force breaks. Now that I think of it. Cause uh, I'm almost out of here. Oh, it's gonna make me walk across that wall, isn't it? So, I don't think I can make it. Well, first, that I'm gonna fight FOE if I go that way. Yeah, I don't. So, I'm supposed to go all the way down that way. Yeah, I'm running low on TP, but let's just see what happens. Yeah, he's catching up. Climb up the low wall on the east end of the ruins, the monstrous creature slashes at you and knocks you off. You slowly get to your feet and tend to your injuries. Are you alright? That thing's quite the behemoth, isn't it? Leo approaches you after witnessing the attack. I figured out the beast movements. It'll chase you whenever you climb up a wall. He looks down at your map and continues. If you're headed southeast, try luring it over to the northwest corner first. That should buy you enough time to make your way back. If you've been keeping track of the paths you've taken up until now, you should be able to uh, sneak past the monster. You thank Leo for the advice and begin planning a way to get around the mon monstrous creature. Okay. I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me just heal everyone up. Thank you. Oh. Alright, um, so I just unlocked it. Thankfully, this shortcut. Um, this one. So we just gotta go to the northwest corner and lure it there. Yeah. That's not bad. Mm. I'm gonna use my force breaks, though. Fall asleep. You better fall asleep. Yes. Okay. Now he's. Now he's in trouble. Hmm. Okay, um, I really don't like using a mouse, like, it makes me feel like I'm cheating. Um, you know, just carry enough a mouse and you'll, you'll be fine, as long as you don't get wiped out. Okay. Luckily we're here. No fights. It's bothering me. 
Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Good. Oops. Well. Okay. After managing to dodge the repulsive beast as it wandered the labyrinth's halls, you finally reach a door. Looking at the map you've drawn, you suspect the horrendous beast's lair is just through here. If you're ready for battle, then open the door and fix it head on. Nope. <laughs> I'm not ready. Definitely not ready. Oh, is this, this is the wrong fight. Um... No. No, man. I'm just gonna... Can't. Can't let this guy do... Uh, do what he wants to do. Just no. Just force breaks all. So I used fairy robe there on my war magus. It um. So first, it doesn't revive dead people, but it restores everyone's HP and removes their status elements. And it also gives you a shield that turn that blocks every status element on your team. So I knew those seed guys were gonna like. After you kill him, I knew they were going to blow up and try to paralyze me. So that's why I used Fairy Robe there, just to protect myself. It's uh, simple stuff. If you know, you know, if you know what it does. <laughs> uh, what to get? I guess flank shot. Alright, let's get the let's get the hell out of here. Oh,主、何を売るのじゃ？取り新製品がラインナップされたのじゃ。どう？何にするのじゃ？装備を変えるのかや？うん。何にするのじゃ？ Weapon. Slug Scythe. <laughs> Harpoon seems okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll get that. I like that it gives a uh, TP. TP. Yeah. Only three per level, though. I mean, it's good. Vortex ring, curse, resist. Makes me think. I think we got a ring that increased our uh, ice defense before the last boss, the Narmer, and he did ice attacks. So it makes me think vortex ring. Like, will the boss use curse? Will he? Maybe. I actually don't. That guy, this boss, is coming up. I haven't. He's a uh, he's original to this game, so I don't know what his weaknesses are and what he does. So it'll be it'll be fine. It'll be cool. It'll be it'll be fun actually to fight him. I hope he does a lot of like bullshit moves. I like it when the odds are stacked against me in single player games. Let's see. Okay, so this is about the end of this video. Just under an hour. It, it, you know, it felt like it was longer, to be honest. It felt longer. Uh, let's go back to my... Let's fix the character first. Okay, okay. Alright, alright. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. The next video will be versus the FOEs and the boss, so it'll be it'll be an exciting one, yeah. No uh, no exploration, right? None of that. None of that in the next video. But, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and have a good day, or whatever. 
whatever the hell, uh, whatever time it is where you are at.